All right, I just picked up my load back here. Oh, I'm all, well, it's 98 degrees outside. <laughs> I've been standing outside for the last hour. But um, it's, uh, I've got, I have my uh, load now. I'm going from Laredo here and uh, it's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon and I have to be to uh, Marshalltown, Iowa, which is uh, northeast of Des Moines by um, uh, nine o'clock tomorrow night. So uh, at least I'm getting to a little cooler climate. So that'll be nice. But I did have a good time down here while I was here. And uh, well, we'll see where we go because again, it's gonna be an all nighter. So um, probably won't be able to see much. Of course, I'm a little bit of a backup here. It's uh, 8.30 at night. Um, this shouldn't take too long. I'm just about to my fuel, first fuel stop. And then uh, after that, traffic should die down a little bit. By the time I get to Dallas, I don't imagine there will be much of anything for traffic. And uh, then we cut off at, um, at Dallas and start uh, heading up into uh, eastern Oklahoma, uh, up through Tulsa, Big Cabin, into Joplin, Missouri, and then up to Kansas City, and all through there it should be pretty dead. But I, I thought this uh, guitar on the building up there was kind of neat. Um, you can see it very well. Nashville of Texas. This is Dallas. It's all lit up. Just come out of construction. It's 11.30 at night. So the traffic's pretty light.
the wind has since Kansas City has been just crazy. Um, it's just almost 60 miles an hour. Um, you saw the video of that big truck laying on its side. That was uh, one of two that I heard about uh, up here in Iowa. And uh, I'm on my way home. I was at my fuel stop in Bethany, Missouri. And when I went to get out of the van, uh, these are, have, uh, there's no grip really on these doors. And uh, they're all kind of hard plastic. And so when I opened the door to get out of the, to put fuel in, the wind caught it, pulled it right out of my hand, and I think I sprung the hinge, and now the, the door is sticking, uh, getting stuck into the, the fender. So I have to get up in and out of the passenger side. So I'm heading home, and then uh, I'm gonna get that in tomorrow and get it looked at. And then I guess I'm gonna probably spend the weekend. I mean, nothing's gonna be moving anyway, because it's Easter. So I'll probably just uh, hang around and I won't go out again until uh, Monday morning. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of update you. I did get my load delivered five hours early. Um, the dispatcher told me there was no way I could deliver it on time. Uh, argued with us. Uh, actually um, was quite uh, mean to my wife. And uh, that's a story for another time. But, um, so anyway, I got it delivered five hours early and now I'm on my way home. So anyway, I just wanted to update you and let you know. And if I don't make anything over the weekend, which I'm probably not going to, y'all have a blessed Easter. Talk to you later. Bye. 50 mile an hour gusts of wind. Hopefully it's not gonna turn the freeway to ice. Because with 50 mile an hour winds and ice, none of us are going to stay on the road. Let's see, it's 31 degrees. I'm still south of Minneapolis. Just coming up to the, well, I guess I just got on to 35W uh, north. And uh, about seven miles from 494. But uh, isn't this isn't this a, a change from yesterday? Yesterday, 98 degrees down in Laredo when I left. <laughs> and here's 31 degrees and snowing. And I'm not even home yet. 